Hello everybody, Mickey gave me this link to Major Peter Laboria's grave. I don't know if that's how you say it, Laboria's. He was French, or his parents were French, although I think he was born here. And then there's some information here about him saying where he was born. I wanted to see how tall he was, because we're going to read this bit of information in a minute. And then, um, let's, after leaving the service, he moved to Dorking. Lovely, it's got a name called Dorking. Already, 1700s this was, where he lived as a tenant and blah, blah, blah. And then, um, he went to stay with a friend on the 6th of June. He went for a month, but the last time, or well, one of the times he went, it was three months. Um, it tells you a little bit of information about him and his life. And then, obviously, location Box Hill, that's near Mickey. And then, now, where was it? Now, I've got to find it now, Mickey. Where was it? Um, we'll just find it. One second. So, the thing that really interested Mickey about this person was that when he died, he was buried upside down. So, it says here, the other request was that he should be buried upside down and that his favourite spot on his beloved Box Hill, the Major himself had obtained permission from then owner Henry Peters and all that remained was to effect the in in interment. A grave was dug in the shape of a well, its site being close to the Hawthorne tree to the west of Swiss Cottage. The reputed depth of the grave was 100 feet, 33 metres, is not born of historical account. But why would they build or make the grave so deep? Well, Mickey is here. I might take you off the charge. Mickey's on charge at the moment, don't you, Mickey? <laughs> on my computer, but. Oh, you are going to be mentioned in the video after all, Mickey. But it is very strange, Mickey, that he's buried a hundred feet down. Yes. Is that a mile? Yeah. Not that yeah, but how far is a hundred feet? Is it one thousand that makes a mile? So it's a tenth of a mile. But uh, just, uh, you have to speak up though, because Mickey's, uh, I don't know if they'll hear you, because he's on the phone and he's always quiet anyway. But um, that's a long way down, isn't it? Long way down. Yeah, it's a long way down. You know, to bury someone. Yeah, it's a long way down. But then, you know, we've already won, you know, we've moved up there as kids, where there's tunnels. And to me, digging that far down, you know, you're obviously going to tunnel. Well, why would they bury him in a tunnel? He said he wants to be buried upside down. He didn't want to be buried like half a mile in the ground, did he? Oh, oh yes, where's that bit? Um, I don't know where that bit is now. I think that's at the beginning when we read it. Um, I don't know where that bit is now. Let me just stop and find that bit. So this is, I said, wait a minute, Mickey. I said this is his, this is his grave here. It's nothing spectacular. It just looks like a bit of concrete with a very simple headstone on it. But he has a nice view. But he's buried upside down, so you wouldn't see it anyway, would he? Being upside down. But that is quite crazy on here. That um, I didn't find the other bit, but I think Mickey sent it to me. So we'll go to that in a minute. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But we're going to the bit where. I just can't believe that, it, that, the, that the hole was a hundred feet deep, but there it is. I don't get that. I don't get that at all. But anyway, let's have a look what Mickey sent. So, it says, I couldn't find that bit, but we've got this bit here. His religious beliefs are known to have put him in great admiration of the saintly namesake. To Peter, he venerated the saints whom... Humility, what's that? Humility, and always spoke of his desire to emulate 
him into his ideals of generosity and faith. It is known to the apostles piety made him feel unworthy of receiving a similar death to Christ, requesting crucifixion on an inverted cross. Is that what he asked for, McGee? Uh, so after he died, they crucified him. And then buried it in the ground. That's what it has to be 100 feet then, doesn't it? Although they didn't probably need to make it 100 feet. It is more likely, therefore, that the major faith made him wish to suffer a similar end, being interred in a similar manner. Hmm. Floss is snoring. Shout out, Floss. That's all a bit weird, isn't it? Well, we're allowed to do what we want, but he's buried on a cross down there. Well. Do you really think that they would have spent the time and money doing all that? It's not just an easy job, is it? Yeah, but that's a lot of work and effort to do that, isn't it? They dug the hole and they kicked him in. <laughs> what, burying him upside down? If he was in awe of, of how Jesus died. So he's blasphemous then. Because you would only see if someone was buried upside down and all that, that they are a traitor. <laughs> but they're remembering him in here as a goody two shoes. Oh. One second, we're going to look at a picture of him. So, there's not really any pictures of him except this one. I mean, he looks quite awful, really, with that haircut. But um, Mickey thought he looked a bit darker skinned, didn't he, Mickey? Yeah, yeah, apparently he never watched. I don't think that's true. Or maybe they couldn't in those days because they didn't have bathrooms. Yeah, but there's some pictures of him. So he was born in 1725, died in the 1800s. He was in the British Army, he was a major. This looks like today, doesn't it? He lived in Dorking, it's all like it is today. But anyway. I suppose Mickey wanted to say, what's your thoughts? Is that right, Mickey? Yeah. What's your thoughts about Major Major Peter here, who is buried upside down and is, well, in religious terms, that would be, he'd be a traitor. Yeah. And he sees yeah. that as his duty when he's dead, to bury him upside down. At least he didn't yeah. feel anything, that's a good thing. But the hole in the ground's quite big, isn't it, Mickey? Well, yeah, because if, if, if they're doing a hundred foot, you know, you can make them make it like a mine shaft, so they're quite, they're quite, they're quite, they're quite, they're quite Yeah, so anyway, we've got to stop now, because we have to stop, Mickey, I'm running out of time, but, um, yeah, yeah what, so Mickey wants to know, what's your thoughts, don't you, Mickey?